Hi, this is Steve Rose, and this is part of our ongoing Eye on the Cure blog and responding to questions. So this is going to be an ongoing uh, activity, and I'm going to start to answer questions that were posted on the blog and on Facebook. So the first question comes from Burndy. My seven-year-old grandson has cone rod dystrophy, and it's difficult to find much information or research about it. Will the research for RP, Usher syndrome, and other diseases also benefit him? Sorry. Burndy, yes, absolutely. That's one of the things about the Foundation Fighting Blindness that we really believe is important. We are not just a one-trick pony in trying to come up with preventions, treatments, and cures. Cone rod dystrophy is a particular form of a retinal degeneration for which gene therapy, drug therapy, and or stem cells can have an effect. Certainly right now, depending upon what gene is causing the cone rod dystrophy, there's an ongoing clinical trial in Oregon that in fact may have usefulness for your grandson's cone rod dystrophy. This question is from the blog and it's from Faye. I'm so excited to hear about all the discoveries with stem cell research. My son, who is 32 years old, has RP. I am greatly encouraged by this news. How soon will there be clinical trials? Will there be some trials in close proximity to Tulsa, Oklahoma? So they, the answer is there is a very good FFB-supported retinal center in Dallas, Texas. Also, the University of Oklahoma has a very strong research program, um, but I'm not really aware of their clinical program at the university, but I know that there are good ophthalmologists in the Oklahoma area. With respect to stem cells, there is a lot of progress being made, as you heard from Dr. Gam. The Foundation Fighting Blindness, as well as other groups, are very actively funding research in stem cell in order to be able to provide the type of treatment that people like your son would be seeing. Will clinical trials be soon? Um, I'm very optimistic that within the next seven to eight years, we will be in the clinic with clinical trials in stem cells, and it could be much faster progress is being made at a much faster pace than we would have expected, but one of the things we have to be very careful about is to make sure it's safe. That is the most important thing, is to make sure we do no harm. So keep tuned, we absolutely will keep everybody informed when stem cells move into the clinic. So these questions come from Facebook, and this one comes from Sherry. My husband has Stargardt disease. We have two small children. What kinds of tests do they perform on the children of a blind parent? How much do they cost? And are they covered under health care plans? Sherry, the easiest thing is to take your children to an ophthalmologist and have that ophthalmologist do a thorough eye exam. If it looks like, in fact, that your children are beginning to show signs of Stargardt, which, depending upon your husband's form of Stargardt disease, could come on in the mid-adolescent time frame, then it's potentially worthwhile to get a genetic test to determine what is uh, the type of Stargardt that uh, your family has. With respect to whether those tests are covered by health care plans, that actually depends upon the health care plan you have. It is uh, up to you to talk to your health care plan and determine are those genetic tests covered and what's covered under your vision plan if, in fact, your health care plan has one. Here's another question from Facebook from Bridget. I'm wondering if anyone with RP has had cataract surgery and how it turned out. I'm scared to do it, but I was told it is something I really need to do. Bridget, this is a question we get quite often. And there isn't a simple answer to this. There are quite a number of people who've had cataract surgery 
who have RP who've done very, very well. There are other individuals who have not had such great success with cataract surgery. This is where consultation with an ophthalmologist who really understands retinal degenerative diseases is very, very important. It is not always a yes, no answer. The individual who you're seeing has to be able to tell you what are the ramifications of getting cataract surgery. And some of them have to do with obviously increasing your vision, which is a benefit. The risks are as you're letting more light into your eye, it could have an effect on the retinal degeneration. We also have a piece on our website, a Q&A with a number of physicians exactly on this topic that I would refer you to. And you can find it, as I said, on our website. I hope you all found this very useful. And keep tuned because this is only the first in a series. And be sure to pose questions that you want us to answer and we're happy to do so.